Well, good morning. This morning we're looking at the book of Deuteronomy, and I want you to think about the question, have you ever been hungry? I mean, like, think you're going to starve to death. I know we use those terms sometimes to talk about, uh, you know, getting to the end of the day or maybe in the middle of the day. But to be honest with you, I personally have gone without very few meals in my life. Uh, one of the things that I kind of plan my day around is when we're going to eat. But the Israelites were allowed to get hungry for a while. And the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee, and to prove thee, to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. So God tells him, he, he said, I allowed you to get hungry out there in the wilderness. I allowed you to go without for a period of time so that I could prove you, so that I could see uh, how you were going to react, so I could put you to a test, and so that I could miraculously provide this manna for you, something that your fathers didn't know, something that had never been around before, but that God was going to provide to the children of Israel all those years as they wandered in the wilderness. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to actually use this as a sword scripture against the devil as he does battle with the devil in the wilderness. And it's interesting, he waited until he had fasted just like Moses did up on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. And it says in chapter four of Matthew and verse three, when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. <clears throat> God said that his provision of the manna in the wilderness was to teach the Israelites a lesson, to help them understand that he was their provider, that he was their source, but also to help them understand that it's not just the physical bread that we eat that's important for the nourishment of our soul. It is the word of God, that we desperately need God's word, every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So the bread was, was actually, the manna was actually something they could eat, but ultimately what it was was a promise from God that he would provide for them. And Jesus tells Satan as he is being tempted by him, he reminds him of this passage of scripture, that the word of God is as important, more important than bread, than our daily bread. Now, we all know that food is important for the body. If you don't have food after a while, you'll die. But I think that, that God uses the, the, the metaphor of bread for his word to help us to understand just as the body needs that food, your soul needs the word of God. You need to feed on it. You need to ingest it. You need to take it into your body. And when you take in food, when you take in bread into your body, you know what happens. A synthesis happens. You, 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 you bring that in and then you analyze that food. You take it and you break it down into its component parts. That's the, the incredible system of the human body that God has designed. And then that, the, those different parts actually are used by the cells of your body to feed them, to nourish them, to keep them going for the powerhouse of your, of your uh, uh, existence of the physical body. And that's what God wants for us to do with his word. He wants for us to read it, to memorize it, to bring it in, to think about it, to apply it to different situations in our life. And when you eat food, you, you grow by that food. Well, it's the same way with the word of God. God wants us to grow by the word of God. So I want to encourage you this morning. God's given us an incredible blessing with his word. He's given us this, this incredible gift of the word of God. And I want to encourage you. Get into it and feed on it. It's our necessary food. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.